Isang siyensayang araw sa inyong lahat. Ako si Fortunato Boy de la Peña ng Department of Science and Technology o DOST. Welcome to Siyensikat, ang programang naglalayong sagutin ang anumang katanungan o hiling ng isang individual o grupo na may kinalaman sa science. At ang napili naming wisher sa episode na ito ay ang kwento ng isang pabrika ng katad o leather na naghahanap ng solusyon sa pag-treat ng kanilang wastewater gamit ang science. Samahan ninyo kaming pasikatin ang mga kaalaman na magagamit ng isang industriya na nagnanais ng panibagong buhay sa pagharap sa pandemya. Ito ang Siyensikat, Pinoy Popular Science para sa lahat. Hindi lamang kalusugan, pati kalikasan ang naapektuhan ng usapin ng akses sa malinis na tubig. At tinatayang nasa 55 na katao, araw-araw ang namamatay o mahigit kumulang isang milyon kada taon dahil sa usapin ng water sanitation o waste water management. Hi, I'm Willie Chua, the Managing Director of Valenzuela Tannery Corporation. Our tannery started um, with my father as a leather seller. Um, he, he started as a warehouse man and as a, a store seller until he became a manager and then he thought of um, coming up with um, his own uh, manufacturing facility. Hopefully, um, with so many things going on in science, uh, science would definitely help um, most especially in the processing of lead. And um, the enhancement of um, environment. I am Jose Bernardo Padaka III, or Joki Padaka, a senior science research specialist here at the Advanced Manufacturing Center of the DOST. The Advanced Manufacturing Center, or AMSEN, is the country's technological hub for additive manufacturing, or more commonly known as 3D printing. So here po, we have a collection of 3D printing equipment, ranging from small ones or desktop ones, uh, up to very large sizes, like uh, one there that can print up to six meters na parts. And we can also do printing of plastics, metals, polymers, ceramics, uh, and several other specialized materials according to your need. At samahan nyo kami ngayon upang tuklasin ang siyensya sa likod ng teknolohiya ng 3D printing at nuclear research at kung papaano nito tayo matutulungan sa mga suliranin ito. Dito lang yan sa Siyensikat. So, Engineer, uh, can you please explain to us po sa mga viewers na po sa ating wisher kung ano nga po ba yung difference ng uh, 3D printed na products dun po sa mga conventional na products? When it comes to the final product po, uh, what you intend to do in the mass production, i-achieve muna po siya sa 3D printing. So, when it comes to difference, uh, only the manner of how you build the part is different, but definitely the functionality will be the same. The main advantage I can say for 3D printing is you can accelerate the innovation. Meaning, uh, in traditional cases po kasi, like this, these are plastic parts. So these plastic parts are traditionally or conventionally injection molded. So yung paggawa ko, if you know yung mga tabo natin, mga plastic uh, parts natin, meron ho yung molded na metal. And yung molded na metal na yun, matagal hong gawin. At for you to make kahit a simple mold for this part lang, matagal gawin at the same time it's very expensive. So, sir, hearing that the opportunity are limitless with 3D printing, ano pong pwede niyong uh, masabi sa amin sa natutunan po ninyo? In the past, when there's no 3D printing or 3D printer, um, it's very difficult to come up with such a thing for, most especially for uh, scientific study. We have to come up with um, the mold and everything, and with the microfilter, 
it's such a difficult task to, to, to make such a product. So it's the 3D printing that made the ca canister for this um, special filter to, to be possible. So sir, hearing yung pong possibilities ng 3D print are limitless. Ano po ang inaramdaman at lumalaro sa inyong mga isipan? Possible the 3D printing may be used in the future for the tanning industry. Um, there are certain things that or parts, even for parts or even for for the molds that we use, probably in the future it can be 3D printed. And that, that will make us um, save a lot of money. Definitely possible because right now we're also having uh, parallel efforts when it comes to having the technology accessible to everyone, not just in the metro, not just in Manila, but in the whole country. Definitely the 3D printing will help us um, develop many, many possibilities, um, like standardization of colors, the special effects on leather, um, the designs, anything, anything probably imagine. Um, is possible under 3D printing. Um, para may prada ka. So, hindi mo siya malalabas agad sa market eh. Kasi kung hindi mo tinesting or hindi mo magawa. So, dan papasok yung reality manufacturing or 3D printing. So, kumbaga, first to market. Also, maganda rin kasi potential ng 3D printing sa Pilipinas kasi we have the means to make our own materials which can help us in the economic group. At ngayon kasama po natin si Dr. Jordan Madrid upang magbigay linaw sa usaping ito. So Doc, thank you so much po for being here and uh, thank you po for your time and your expertise. Now Doc, before we start, papano po muna nagkaroon ng collaboration between Amsen and your department? Kami ay nakipag-collaborate sa Amsen dahil sa kanilang teknolohiyang 3D printing. Um, gusto namin na ma-upscale ang proseso na aming dinevelop dito mula sa lab scale papunta sa mas malaking paraan ng pagkolekta ng chrome mula sa tanning wastewater. Ang chrome 3 plus ay hindi toxic. Subalit, sa tamang sitwasyon, sa tamang pagkakataon, ito ay maaring makonvert mula sa chrome 3 plus at maging chromium 6 plus. Ang chromium 6 plus ay carcinogenic known carcinogen at ito ay regulated ng Department of Environmental and Natural Resources. So, Doc, para lang po sa ating mga manonood, uh, pakilinaw lang po sa amin, sa kanila, ang ibig sabihin po ng carcinogenic. Okay, ang um, salitang carcinogenic, ibig sabihin nito ay mga materiales or mga compounds na nagkakos ng cancer sa tao. Ano pong magiging impact ng inyong filtering system dun po sa kumpanya kung saan po kayo ay collaborated with? Ang Valenzuela Tannery Corporation, uh, dahil sila ay gumagamit nga ng chrome sa pag-treat ng mga balat upang maging leather, maaari nilang magamit muli ang marirecover natin na chrome mula sa wastewater. Imbis na kanila itong itapon, uh, may potential na ito ay magamit muli sa proseso ng leather tanning. So, Kaya ang kumpanya ay maaaring uh, makatipid sa in terms of uh, cost of production dahil kaya nilang i-recycle yung dapat ay itatapon ng chrome. Nalaman namin gamit ang lab scale, adsorbent na ito, 100% o ang lalabas na tubig pagkatapos dumaan dun sa aming adsorbent ay chrome-free na. Sir, uh, ano pong masasabi ninyo na posible na pong maging chrome-free ang inyong wastewater at posible pa pong magamit ito para pong gumawa pa ng leather? We are very excited um, for this um, breakthrough because um, most especially we have to try it on the actual flow of the wastewater. And um, if that is possible, the 100% is possible, then that's, that's really a real breakthrough. Um, and of course, um, being able to reuse the chrome is a big factor. and. Um, that means there's no more chrome being wasted, no more going down the drain, and it, it can be reused and really put it into leather, which is 
where we want it to be. In this project, we were able to illustrate how we were able to harness the power of 3D printing. You could just imagine we have this project for uh, 10 months, but uh, because of uh, our uh, uh, simulation tools, you know, we were able to design, uh, simulate, and uh, optimize, and 3D print the column filter from the original target of 10 months to just uh, less than four months. So you could just imagine now we do, we already have this uh, uh, column filter uh, developed successfully. In fact, uh, we are working um, on coming up uh, as an offshoot of this project for the industrial application of this column filter. So the beauty of 3D printing is that whatever you can imagine, whatever you can design, we could print it. So we would like to invite you to avail of the AMSEN services. AMSEN is providing access anywhere in the country through our advanced remote manufacturing service. And we also have this portal we call the, uh, the AMSEN integrated online system where you could just upload your design and then uh, you pay online. And then once the, uh, pre your printed items are completed, we could send it through you, to you through courier services anywhere in the country. So these services are open to the small and medium enterprises, to any researchers, any uh, innovators, uh, inventors, private companies, academ, uh, all over the country. Uh, without the need to uh, go to the National Capital Region or Manila, uh, you could avail of these uh, services anywhere in the country. Isang makabuluhang hangarin ang natunghaya natin dito sa Siensikat. Patunay ito na ang isang pangarap sa tulong ng agham at teknolohiya ay posibleng mabigyan ng pag-asa. Gamit ang siyensya, may magagawa tayo para tulungan ang isa't isa. Kaya kung ikaw ay may katanungan o hiling, Natingin mo ay siyensya ang makakasagot. Huwag ka nang mag-atubiling gumawa ng vlogs at i-post ito sa iyong social media accounts at lakipan ng hashtag Siensikat. Malay mo, ikaw na ang susunod na wisher na lalapitan ng aming DOSD idols or science experts. Hanggang sa muli, ako si Secretary Fortunato Boy de la Peña mula sa DOSD na nagpapasalamat sa inyong pagsubaybay sa amin dito sa Cien Sikat, Pinoy Popular Science para sa lahat. Sikat, mula sa POST, science at